What's up guys, welcome back. We're gonna go over the High Priest event really fast in Textvu. Uh, this takes place down here in the southeast part of the zone. In order to get down here, you're gonna need someone with the polished stone key. You only need one person in your raid to have it. And the person who does have it can open up the door right here, which will allow you down into the caves. Um, if you do not have it, it drops off of Masteric Champion. You'll get one per Masteric Champion kill. So how this event works is there's five little mini named around here. And you have to kill all five of them. And then once you do, the shade's going to spawn. It's like a uh, unattackable NPC. It's called a shade of something. And it's going to path up towards the High Priest area once you kill its respective named. Um, each of these named has like a few ads with them. All of the ads are mesable. So basically what you want to do is you want to mez these ads and then you want to kill the named and then you can kill off all your mez uh, ads after that. And you move it, rinse and repeat and go do that for every single one of these. Now, each of these guys, they do have um, a slightly different ability. It's pretty trivial, like, the differences between them. So it's not really a huge deal here. So basically just make sure you mez the ads and then you kill the named. Um, I have some general information here on the page. Um, you can see like the uh, some of the statistics of some of the NPCs here. Like here's the ones, uh, these Tiv Prayer Enchanters. These are the mesable guys that are going to be in each of these blue circles. And then I have like a little screenshot here so you can kind of see what it looks like uh, for each of the little mini named areas. Um, it looks like, at least for me, um, the first one, uh, Rizaya, right here when you first come down in. He had five ads, uh, five chanters. Uh, the rest of them only had four, so I don't know if that uh, happens every time, but that's what happened for me. And uh, once you do all that, you can get to the High Priest. Now, the High Priest event, uh, we're going to go over a video here real quick so you can see this whole thing in action. But um, the High Priest event, this guy, um, once all, you'll see he's got these five shades around him. These five shades, like I said, they come from these named after you kill the named. Uh, they will all become attackable at that point and then uh, in the high priest spawns once all five of them are around him so uh, these these shades don't hit very hard basically what you want to do here is um, kill the high priest and get every time he gets down to 50 percent hp one of these shades they will despawn and he's going to regenerate back up to 100 percent hp and you got to rinse and repeat that until every single shade is dead and once they're all dead then you'll be able to kill him um, so it's kind of like an endurance fight. And one thing the High Priest does is he's cast a pretty nasty AE. It's going to give you a, a point blank area effect. It's got negative 50% spell haste. It's got a 40% slow for your uh, for the, on the melee classes. It also does 3,000 direct damage. And it's negative 325 magic base. So make sure you stack up your uh, magic resist for this. One thing to note here on this is it does have 45 curse counters on this debuff so you're going to want to make sure all your healers uh, have their um, cure curse up make sure you uh, get all the clerics cured first in all the melee if all the melee are slowed and everyone's got this spell haste debuff it's going to take you a really long time to kill this guy so uh curing curse on your raid is super important here so let's go over to the video real quick so you can see what it looks like all right so we're over here in the beginning of the caves and you'll see i'm kind of standing right here Generally, I went, I went one, two, three, four, five. That was the order I did just because it's farthest away from the high priest to the closest to the high priest. It's just kind of a natural path to go. And also in these tunnels, there are trash mobs along in here. So you're going to have to kill some additional, just regular trash along the way. So this is the uh, first name right here. You'll see we got the invoker in the middle. And we have five chainers on the outside. So I'm on live. So I just, I just charge in here and I'm testing stuff, seeing what's going on. But uh, if you're in era or you're actually rating this as like an actual raid content, uh, just mez all the chainers, kill this uh, Varex guy, and then after that you can kill all the chainers off. Then you just move on to the next room. So you'll see here, I'm just kind of killing everything. And then I uh, fast forwarded a little bit and I'm about to kill the uh, named. And when this guy dies, you're going to see this shade spawn right here, shade of Varex invoker. So each one of these mini named is going to trigger that uh, when those die. And as soon as it spawns, it's just gonna start running off towards the High Priest. It's not attackable yet, it will be eventually, but you just let him run off and do his thing. And then you just keep uh, moving on to all these names and kill all five of these names. So here's the second one here. It's essentially the same thing as the first one. I just kill the, uh, well, I'm killing the Chainers first, but generally you're gonna wanna mez those first. But I'm on live, so I kinda do whatever I want, right? So, and here we are, I'm gonna fast forward. I kill them all. And then the second shade spawns and you'll see he starts pathing again. 
and he's headed up towards the high priest. So here's the third one. It's just a rinse and repeat thing, exactly the same as the first two. So I'm just gonna fast forward here a little bit. And once you have all five of them dead, this is actually up here in the high priest room. The high priest is right here, and this is the last shade that's pathing up towards the high priest. And you'll see like an emote. You can maybe barely see it in this video, but there is like a yellow text you'll see at the bottom. And at that point, you can attack the high priest. So um, what you want to do is you just want to kill the high priest and get him to 50% over and over. Every time he hits 50%, one of these shades will despawn and he'll go back up to 100%. Repeat that over and over until there's no shades left and then once the last one dies You can finish off the high priest. Um, the high priest is slowable And he also has a really nasty debuff which we just talked about so make sure you got that curse cure up And you'll see here I kill all of those now one thing to note about the ads is they can charm people uh, But they don't hit very hard. They uh, what's this called? I think I had the debuff up there just for a second here it is, spiritual possession. Just finish them off like that, and then make sure you loot this jade inlet key once you kill the high priest. Um, this is the key for um, the very last boss of the zone. It lets you get into his doorways up there. So that's pretty much this uh, high priest in a nutshell. I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.